Hey Gemini's, welcome to Tarot Hill. Welcome to the universe of them reading. Look here, this is in the format of person A, person B. You figure out where you are in the storyline. All right, what is person A bringing? Three of Pentacles in a verse, and no cooperation. <laughs> What's person B doing? What's the energy of person B right now? Page of Cups, okay, Page of Cups. So that's like the energy of like somebody trying to extend some type of olive branch. It's gonna be an apology, it could be a small offer, whatever, a small gesture. And person A is not cooperating with that small gesture. All right, let's pick one more for person A. Queen of Wands in a verse, oh, there. This person has their, their hands crossed. They're bitter and resentful. Like, don't, don't apologize to me. Don't talk to me, okay? That's what I'm feeling there. You have the moon card coming through. Why is that moon card coming through? Ten of Swords, yeah. All right, this is like a makeup situation. Mm, okay. All right. Um, what what's happening here? Something underlying here. Okay, how does person A feel about person B? King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, Two of Cups. Yeah. All right. So the Two of Cups coming out in reverse with the Magician card and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I feel like. Person A is kind of like, I don't know. See, the High Priestess is coming out. This is weird. With the Magician card, there's something underlying going here, okay? Um, but anyway, so I feel like Person A feels like Person B can't really, they don't trust them. They don't trust them. That's what I'm feeling here. All right, now with the High Priestess, this could be as a result of into, intuitive guidance. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. This could be the result of intuitive guidance here. Um, we do have the Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor coming out, though. I think someone saw this, saw the potential for this, but, but yeah, it's like, it's not that. It's something, okay. What What is person B feeling about person A? We want to clear this energy out. Three of Swords, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Um, they're just trying to make up. They're trying to make up the situation, make up for whatever situation happened here. They have the Three of Swords. It's like, I don't want to cause this pain anymore. The Four of Wands, I broke a foundation here. I broke so much trust. Something like that that's happening, okay? It does feel like a trust is broken. Two of Pentacles, it's like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try, all right? I'm going to try to see if this could work out. What is person A feel, um, feeling to see? Knight of Cups with the World card. The World card coming out in reverse. All these cups coming through. Five of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, this person doesn't want to feel the regret. So, person B doesn't want to feel regret. So, if they were moving in a confusing way, they're trying to break through that illusion. That's what it is. It's some type of illusion happening here. Why is there such... There's a layer of illusion happening here. What is that? It's something like something is happening above the surface and there's something happening below the surface. With this moon card coming out, the high priestess coming out, the magician card coming out, there's things that's happening behind the scenes, okay? Um, okay. But anyway, so what is person A feeling to see? That person B wants to put in work because they don't want to feel this regret. They don't want to cause heartbreak. They don't want to mess up this foundation that was built or they don't, yeah. They kind of want to create a new beginning here, turn a new leaf. With the Knight of Cups here. They want to come through with an offer of sorts. And I feel like they might be testing the waters with the Page of Cups before they come in with a full offer that is the Knight of Cups. All right, well, and then we have the temperance card. All the spiritual, all these spiritual cards are coming through. All right, how does person B, what does person B feeling the same? <laughs> yeah, the temperance card's coming out, yeah. Um, nine of wands in reverse. 
They're going against their intuition. We have the Eight of Wands coming out with the Nine of Wands. See, the Eight of Wands is being pushed into a specific direction. It's coming out in reverse. They're going against that with the Temperance card in reverse. So they're going against their intuitive guidance here. King of Swords. Oh, this, this, this. Okay, this situation. It's a lot of layers to the situation is what I feel is, 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 is a lot, it's a lot. Um, but I feel like person A, they're not going against, they're going against their intuition and they're clear about doing that. It's like they're making a, a conscious decision to go against their intuition with the King of Swords. All right, what's the advice for person A? Two of Wands with the Three of Cups coming through. I just feel like this is the energy of like, do you? Okay. Um, yeah, Nine of Swords, it's nothing. I feel like, it feels like person A is kind of checking out, okay? After like, whatever this situation is, if something, the trust got broken or something like that, person A is like, I'm, I don't, I, I don't, I'm good. You know, that, it just feels like a very checked out energy in person A is in, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, and what is person B? What's that advice for person B? Seven of Swords. Person B needs to do some soul searching and see how how these two people see how they got there. They need to do some reflection. We have the Seven of Pentacles coming out. With the Hermit card and the Seven of Swords, they have to do some reflection on their Seven of Swords energy. How how was the trust broken? They need to reflect on that part. How do they create an unstable foundation in this connection? That needs to be that that's the they need to reflect on that. All right. What's the what do the romance angels have to say? Healing family issues. Calling in your soulmate. Give your relationship a chance. Wedding, heart to heart conversations. I feel like there's a need for more vulnerability. Maybe on both parties ends, I don't know. But, cause it seems like person A is they, if, if their energy was a picture right now, it will be them with their arms crossed, looking the other way, while person B is talking in their ear and they're like, look, I don't really care what you, I don't, I'm not hearing anything. So, I mean, with that, and not saying that, you know, I just feel like an open mind might be needed here, to be honest, would give yourself, give your, give your relationship a chance. It does feel like person A is harboring some resentment about this connection right now. Um, there needs to be some vulnerability, heart to heart conversations, because if there was a straight up trust being broken, or if there was, um, there was some type of rift, okay, if there was a misunderstanding, whatever the case is, there's some type of rift that happened here. And it just seems like, I almost feel like there's misunderstandings on top of misunderstandings being piled up. There needs to be some vulnerability to be had. There's some real honest talks that need to be had so you can clear it up. There needs to be a clearing of this um, this energy. Because I feel like there's too much space between, um, like I said, there's some, there's there's a surface, there's stuff underneath. There's too many layers in this and you guys need to cut through that uh, and get to the truth of the matter here. But I feel like egos are at play. What's this person they want to tell person to? <clears throat> I feel like both egos are flared up. Yeah, I don't react when people mention you. That is your energy. Arms crossed. I'm not paying attention. I don't care. I am cut off. I'm cutting you off. I don't I don't want to hear anything. That's the energy I'm here. I'm feeling here, okay? Cause they're pissed. You came closer than anyone. What else? You speak to me through music. 
the timing just wasn't right for us. Um, yeah, so there's definitely a spiritual, there's a, some spiritual element here for sure. Okay, um, with all those spiritual cards, the temperance, the high priestess, all the moon, all these, uh, spiritual cards coming out here um but especially with this you speak to me through music coming through it's definitely showing that you know some type of element of you know the spiritual um spiritual connection all right um but yeah whatever the case is person a is pissed right now they're just like well you, you i'm good i'm checked out uh what's this person be when it's a person a? <clears throat> Finding, finding out the truth crushed me. They also don't react when people mention it. See, both parties. That's the thing. There's such an illusion here. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Okay. Both parties are given this energy. Both parties are like, I don't care. But that's far from the truth. That is far from the truth. What's What's happening on one level and what's happening on another level is two different things. There needs to be a, a conversation to clear that up, to bridge the gap. I bury myself in work to forget about you. I wish things could be different. I remember every detail of that day. Um, there might've been a moment where you guys had a connection or um, realized a connection um, where you're like, oh, this, I think this is a thing, you know, so that's coming out there. But yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, you guys have to have a heart to heart. It's just two egos knocking against each other. I mean, but the past Gemini readings were coming out this way where it's like this connection was running too hot and it's like, it's like two bowls coming together. That's what it feels like, okay? These are two... <laughs> Two stubborn characters. Somebody got to give. Okay. What's going on here? Dealing. Your T and I. I don't know if that's something. All right. See, now these are coming out with names. They be coming out with names now. I'm not asking for that. So, whatever. All right. But eight keeps wanting to come out. I don't know if the number eight is important for some of you guys, but that is a that is a number of transition as well. So, there can be, um, I feel like there's a, oh, with the eight, I'm getting infinity, right? I'm also getting as below, as above, so below type of energy. I feel like there needs to be a bridging of the gap. There's too much space in between the reality, the re, the what's happening behind the scenes and the reality that needs to be bridged, or it's just going to be two egos just bumping against each other for no reason and causing misunderstandings. Sugar, <laughs> you so sweet. See, I feel like it's such a. I feel like underneath the egos, underneath this person crossing their arms and they're like, "I don't care, I'm checked out." This person has a lot of love. Behind the other person, person B, moving however they're moving, it's a lot of love, right? It's just, it's just, it's yeah. There needs to be. You guys need to be sweeter, kinder, and more vulnerable with each other at the end of the day, okay? That's what will save this situation, all right? If not, then it's just going to be two people being weird. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Until next week, peace.